Commander. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. I saw your bases years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian Creepers, even Husks to make your own army. The Husks were already dead, the Thorian creatures were mindless, and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best jeans money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks. Even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. I can't admire your body or your mind? You give your father too much credit. Yeah, he gave you gifts. But you can be proud of what you've done with them. Oh. Thank you. Perhaps I wouldn't mind if you admired my body. You wouldn't, huh? I think I could live with it. It's only fair. You've had two years to look at me. And I was wearing less than you are. Shepard, wait. I, I need to think about this. Scared, Ms. Lawson? Cautious, Commander Shepard. But interested. Very interested. For now, I should work and think. I'll talk um, to you later. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Hey, Shepard. Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I hear you and she were an item before. I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. Though I've noticed, Samara's not exactly acting like herself lately. 
Not that I'd mention that to anyone else. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Shepard, I always look forward to your visits. You've been through a lot. I'm always fine, Shepard. I learned hundreds of years ago to look out for myself. How do you handle such a solitary life? I get lonely at times. I never really feel the love of another, at least not for long. I don't suppose there's anything I can do about that. But I want you to know something. My lovers spent their last moments experiencing pleasure you can't imagine. Like Neff. She died because her nervous system overloaded, with an ecstasy so great she couldn't handle it. Why tell me this? It's just something to think about. You're unique. You've lived through the impossible. If anyone could survive, now's not the time. I should go. So soon? Well, don't stay away too long. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. Oh, mate. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. You work pretty hard at not I've letting been with people lots get of people. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'd be lying if I said no. You're different. Figured. People always want something. Well, what? Right now, then? I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not.
Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust, would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, but you're rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, Puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example. Yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Helped preserve galaxy before with genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's Solus biography vid. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously, in that case, regardless. Thank you.
Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Unload. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. 
Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mess at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm gonna kill Vito. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I had to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it.
use this. This is valuable. Shoot it! Bring it down on top of him! 
son of a bitch. See you in another 20 years. Just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh. Zaid, you all right? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shit hole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go! You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That's not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. <laughs>